and welcome back to our channel, Strong with Raj. I'm Dr. Inga, I'm a GP here in Australia. And today we're talking about BPC-157. This is the first in our series on peptide therapies. But before we begin, if you're enjoying our content, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button to support us. I'd like to begin by reminding our audience that this video is purely for entertainment purposes only. I'm not giving any medical advice or prescribing peptides in these videos, and it's important to check with your health professional or doctor before trying any of these therapeutic interventions. Let's explore the fascinating world of BPC-157. BPC-157 is a synthetic peptide derived from naturally occurring protein found in the stomach called body protection compound. It gained attention worldwide some years ago for its potential therapeutic effects on various aspects of health and wellness. BPC-157 comes under the category of peptide therapies that relate to healing, repair, and inflammation. BPC-157 works by modulating the activity of growth factors, cytokines, and other signaling molecules involved in tissue repair and regeneration. BPC-157 has two potential mechanisms of action. Firstly, it appears to stimulate the generation of new blood vessels in the damaged tissue, a process called angiogenesis. Secondly, it's been thought to bolster nitric oxide production at the injured site, thereby causing vasodilation and the subsequent supply of multiple growth factors to the area. Now, while our bodies are very wise and can adequately repair damaged tissues or reduce inflammation, however, these processes do tend to diminish as we get older. For this reason, the use of therapeutic peptides like BPC-157 can assist the body and amplify the healing response, thereby getting you back to normal activities of life. One of the primary benefits of BPC-157 is its ability to promote tissue healing and repair. Now, research has shown that BPC-157 can accelerate the healing of injuries such as tendon and ligament damage, muscle tears and joint injuries. Additionally, it may have anti-inflammatory effects, particularly when it occurs within the gastrointestinal tract, thereby improving conditions such as peptic ulcers or colitis. Let's delve into the scientific research supporting the use of BPC-157. While there is a vast array of small animal studies looking at the use of BPC-157 in musculoskeletal injuries, especially tendon and ligament damage, there have actually been very few human studies. Nonetheless, the anecdotal evidence from patients around the world unanimously find that the benefits of BPC-157 are overwhelmingly positive. There was one study published in the Journal of Orthopaedic Research from 2019 that found BPC-157 to promote the healing of Achilles tendon injuries in rats, leading to improved tendon strength and function. Another study published in the Journal of Orthopaedic Surgery and Research examined the effects of BPC-157 on muscle regeneration in rats with muscle injuries. The results showed that BPC-157 treatment significantly increased muscle fiber size and strength suggesting its potential as a therapy for muscle injuries and degenerative conditions. In the journal Cell Tissue Research from March 2019, the authors noted that BPC-157 had a clear role in accelerating soft tissue healing, both in vivo and in vitro models. But check out the details in the link below if you want more detail about these research studies. So who can use BPC-157? BPC-157 has been shown to have very few side effects, probably because it's a relatively small protein. In fact, it's a peptide made up of less than 20 amino acids, so it can be used by most adults. However, it wouldn't be prescribed, obviously, to children, pregnant women, or those breastfeeding. How does one use BPC-157? This peptide can be administered in two ways, either orally in a capsule form or by a subcutaneous injection. Many patients report the injection form to be much more effective and rapid in terms of their musculoskeletal healing and repair.
but the oral form is readily available and best to treat peptic ulcers or intestinal inflammation directly. While BPC-157 has shown promise in preclinical and clinical studies, it's essential to use it safely and responsibly. Like any medication or supplement, BPC-157 can have side effects, including GI or gastrointestinal discomfort, nausea, headache, and dizziness. Additionally, there are limited long-term safety data available, so it's crucial to use this approach with caution. If you're considering using BPC-157, I highly recommend consulting with a healthcare professional first. They can help you assess whether it's a suitable option for you and provide guidance on proper dosing and administration. Here in Australia, peptide therapies like BPC-157 are Schedule IV medicines, so they must be prescribed by a medical doctor. Before we conclude, I just wanted to share some personal insights and tips for using BPC-157 effectively. Firstly, it's really important to source BPC-157 and other therapeutic peptides from reputable suppliers to ensure the purity and quality of those products. Additionally, start with a low dose and gradually increase as needed, paying attention to how your body responds. Finally, remember that BPC-157 is not a substitute for proper medical care. If you have a serious injury or medical condition, be sure to seek professional medical advice and treatment. Now, if you want to know more about therapeutic peptides in general, check out our full length video by clicking on the link here. In conclusion, BPC-157 is a promising peptide with potential benefits for tissue healing, injury recovery, and overall health. While it may offer advantages for individuals dealing with injuries or degenerative conditions, it's crucial to use it safely and responsibly. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more informative content. And if you have any questions or topics that you'd like me to cover in future videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Until next time, take care and stay strong.